There is a huge difference between angels in Islam and Christianity. Ooh. The concept of angels in Christianity and Islam is vastly different from that of the ancient Hebrews who had a plethora of names to name their celestial beings. Malak is a messenger angel. Seraphim is a winged angel. Cherubim has animal faces, etc. Why do Genesis refer to the B'nai Ha Elohim, what Christians call angels, as children of the gods or sons of God? when they could specifically label them angels because they have the language for it. That is because the B'nai Ha Elohim were actually a divine council of gods who ruled over Canaan, and in an effort to diminish their power and importance, the writers of the Bible had to write polemics about them of how they descended to earth lusting after women. But what doesn't make sense is there were female deities in the divine council of gods. They too would have been capable of giving birth. Anyway, I digress. Throughout the Bible, there's several mentions of the divine council as Yahweh himself was once a member. However, as monotheism took over and Yahweh rose through the pantheon, there was a need, a deep seated need to destroy the foundations of the familial religion in Canaan, okay? Do you hear me? Familial religion needed to be demonized. Gods became demons or angels, but it doesn't erase the fact that they are still revered and worshiped as gods, even if Christians want to call them angels. The language Bene Ha Elohim is incredibly descriptive of these divine beings and their true nature. If you want to uncover the truth with me, follow along in the fascinating world of ancient spirituality in Canaan.